do this quickly before my housemates come home. I barely ever have the house to myself to make a video like up here or down in the living room. I don't want to make every video in my room because it's just not very inspiring. Hello guys, today I would like to talk about my body insecurities. There's a couple of things I feel a bit vulnerable about. This video is actually triggered by a comment that someone just left on my last video from yesterday. The person asked about my right eye because she noticed that it's quite a bit smaller than my left eye or that sometimes it's like only half open. So I wanted to address that because it's actually a really pretty big insecurity of mine um, and always has been. And then just generally want to talk about my story of body insecurities. As much as I might seem super confident on the outside, of course, you know, I'm a woman <laughs> and I have a body and I still have areas of a lack of self-confidence um, when it comes to physical features. <laughs> But also, being 33 now, I'm way more accepting of myself and the way I look and all these things, which, you know, I don't think I could have made this video a few years ago. But now I think I'm okay, even though it's still a little bit embarrassing now to talk about why my right eye is smaller. And to be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> it's just something that I don't really like myself. It's one reason actually why I started wearing sunglasses a lot when I was a young teenager actually. It's also because I have very sensitive eyes. I've got blue eyes, guys, and they're super sensitive to light. And so that's one reason also why I wear uh, sunglasses a lot, <laughs> sometimes even when it's raining and I'm driving or something. There's nothing wrong with my eye at all. I did ask a doctor once and he said I should look at old photos from my childhood um, at different ages and see if it's always been like this or if it changed at some stage. And I did notice that maybe at age, I don't quite remember, three or four or five, that's when it changed. So I was born with two eyes with the same size. And then what he said was, what probably happened is that I might have had like a seizure at night while I was sleeping maybe or something, nothing bad. Um, that just kind of made some of the muscles or nerves in here a little bit immobile. So that's really the only reason. There's nothing I can do about it. I have thought about surgery um, and get it corrected. I did ask the doctor that did my eye laser surgery last year about if there's anything that I can do. And yeah, I could technically um, get that corrected, but I'm not sure it's worth it to be honest, even though I do feel quite self-conscious about it. Also, there's days when it's not that bad, but and then there's days when I'm quite tired or like last night, uh, I went out with some friends, we had a couple of drinks and that immediately for some reason has an effect on that. So, but I also think it's gotten much better since I'm not wearing contact lenses anymore because I got my eyes lasered and that for some reason has taken away some of the friction, I think. Um, so I'm actually not as self-conscious about it as I used to be. Also, because I recently made a video on drugs, when I was smoking weed, it actually got a lot worse. <laughs> and also another thing, one reason why I generally like photos of myself more where my left side is more in the front is also because of that. Okay, so apart from, uh, from this eye situation that I can't do anything about, but that some fans and followers have asked in the past, so so it must be quite apparent to some of you guys. Another thing that I'm a little bit self-conscious about are the dark circles underneath my eyes. Um, I do put a little bit of like concealer on it in the mornings, especially when I'm not very tan. Like the more pale I am, um, the more I feel the darker the circles get. And it's something that my grandma has pretty bad as well. Um, and it just kind of sometimes makes me feel or makes me look very tired even though I'm not and so I just put a bit of concealer on it and that's it. I don't really wear any other makeup. I used to when I tried to be a straight woman um, and when I had long hair and was wearing trying to just be very female and doing what girls do back then when I was a teenager. 
um, but I don't wear makeup very much except for the concealer and I also sometimes use an eyeliner that's about it I just yeah it's not that I don't like makeup on girls but it's just not something that I want to do every day in the morning it's more important for my hair to look good and things like that so I'm very specific about my hair situation and the hair product I use and I go to the hairdresser or to the barber shop actually every three or four weeks to get it all sorted out so actually back then when I was growing up and also in my teenage years I was very self-conscious about being really tall and I mean really tall I'm not extremely tall or exceptionally tall I'm a 5'11 which is 177 centimeters and it's you know it's tall but a lot of my friends they were a lot smaller so I felt very self-conscious about being so tall for some reason I remember that I also used to be very self-conscious about a scar that I have on my right leg it's quite big it's from an accident where I fell down hiking when I was 14 and it's got like 10 stitches or something and it's it's just yeah it's just quite big and I don't know why I used to be so self-conscious about it or insecure because there's really nothing to be self-conscious about but I remember like being at the lake or at the pool and I just didn't want people to see that yeah I also used to be self-conscious about um, that my left ear is bigger than my right ear and I think generally if we look at our faces one half is very different to the other half it's just how it is no two ears are the same size a lot of times many people have that not two eyes are the same size so it's uh, it's just how it is it's how we're it's how we're born something that makes me also feel a bit weird or insecure is that i've gotten feedback from especially people here on youtube that think i'm really skinny or too skinny i I feel like that maybe videos, they kind of make me look skinnier than I am. Like, yeah, I do have skinny legs. Again, it's something that's in my family. We all kind of have really skinny legs, but I'm pretty normal and okay. Like I eat a lot of food and, um, you know, and I exercise, I have a lot of energy. Some people even thought I had an eating disorder or something. Like that's crazy guys, seriously. <laughs> I, I don't have an eating disorder. Uh, I'm just really healthy and uh, take care of my body. Um, but if you saw me in real life, I'm real. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty okay with my body, but I'm not super skinny or anything like that. In general, I just really want to say, guys, girls, especially, screw perfectionism. I know it's a bit cliche and everything, but we gotta love what is and what we were given. And there's ways to make ourselves feel better by having a healthy diet, by exercising and things like that. And then there's things, there's just nothing we can do about it. When, you know, maybe you don't like your nose or maybe you have weird feet or, you know, whatever it is. I mean, yeah, you can go out and, get surgery done um, but in the end and I don't even have an issue with that when people do that um, I just I guess it just makes me feel very compassionate because I can see that wow they felt really insecure and self-conscious about certain body parts and I guess we were given these bodies of ours so that we love them and take care of them and and it's so weird kind of that I wonder if animals have that too you know like dogs or cats or something and they're embarrassed and self-conscious about certain body parts. It's just human beings, you know? We're so embarrassed and ashamed so easily. And I'm inviting you to whatever it is you don't like about your body to just, to just love it even more. And I would encourage you to also share in the comments with me anything that you might feel insecure or self-conscious about regarding your body or your face or whatever. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video about admitting to my body insecurities <laughs> um, and subscribe to my channel to follow along on my life journey you know just sharing everything <laughs> and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye